So somebody asked me a question today about why it is that survivors of narcissistic people in relationships or, or people who have grown up with it in those type of relationships, why they feel so intensely? Why are their emotions so huge? What's going on there? And let's talk about that. My name is Lise Colucci and I'm here to help you understand and heal from things related to toxic relationships. If you are ready to transform your life, let me know. And let's get started talking about this so that we can figure out how to heal. Hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe, and let's go. Why does, why does this happen? Well, first of all, let me say, not all people who have been in toxic relationships who have had toxic upbringings have big emotions. Some people go emotionally numb. They shut down emotionally, they disassociate, they check out from the situations in their life where there is any big emotions that come up. So if that's you and this doesn't apply, I understand that I understand that side too, that this isn't just one thing. Not all people who experience narcissism affecting them in their life from somebody else will have this experience. But some people, when they have been with a narcissist, will have really heightened emotional responses. Sometimes it happens after. Sometimes they're numb for a while while they're with the toxic person. And then when they're healing and they think everything's fine, all of a sudden everything's explosive and everything's triggering and everything is really big and really hard to deal with. Why does that happen? Well, it makes sense you've been in fight flight when you are with a toxic person you have been in a situation where your brain is now operating from fight flight really rapidly okay you have learned to survive you are a survivor okay you are in survival mode survival mode means always looking out for danger always looking out for something trying to hurt you right something coming at you so Part of this healing is relaxing that survivor mode and finding ways to feel safe and comfortable inside yourself. And that takes time. That's another video. So let's talk about this some more, though. So if you're always in survival mode, how do you shut that down? You can't. It's It becomes automatic. It becomes your mechanism for how you function in life. That's one huge reason that this happens. Another thing is when you start feeling better and then the emotions get really big and scary. Somebody just asked me this yesterday. They said, I'm feeling so much better, but when I'm triggered, it's like I hit the roof and I can't calm down. Um, but the rest of my life, I'm not triggered. Why is this happening? Well, if you think about it, you're, you still have the, the survival skill of going into that fight flight and learning and being able to, defend yourself from that place. Okay. And just because you calm down doesn't mean you're not going to get escalated emotionally when things are triggering or when things happen. So just because your nervous system is now better, if it is right, doesn't mean that you're not going to still have these triggers and these emotional responses. We have to learn sometimes to manage the triggers. We have to learn to recognize when we're in emotional flashbacks. And what I mean by that is when we're triggered, something is not the traumatic thing, but reminds us of the traumatic thing. And our brain goes, oh my gosh, it's just like then. And, and we, you know, the emotional switch flips on and, and we're flooded with all these emotions and we hit the ceiling and we can't calm down. Then you are then in an emotional flashback. So the trigger is the event that happens that when you recognize it, the emotional flashback is what comes after. And when you're in that, it takes a process sometimes to calm down. So recognizing that you're in that is the first step. And then, you know, there's things you can do to talk yourself through it. There are a lot of tools out there. I will have to link some in the video um, to help you with that piece. But but know that you're in an emotional flashback and that it's gonna take time to calm down and we need to learn to unwind triggers. And we'll do a video on unwinding triggers. That's the reason why. That's the answer that I have is that you are, you get these heightened awarenesses because your body and your mind are used to things being really extreme, okay? And so, 
it's training yourself and learning and just to trust yourself and learning that you have the tools and the skills to calm down it takes time it takes practice okay so don't be afraid of the triggers don't be afraid of these emotional feelings and these emotional extremes because those are moments to practice calming them those are moments to practice coming back into yourself relaxation meditation soothing the inner child soothing the the wounded you know adult that had that that went through this processing grieving letting go and moving forward okay and and recognizing that you're safe right now even though you're feeling all these things all right so there's ways to help and again if this is something you need help with and you need to talk it through you can reach out for group for coaching or group coaching or the peer support that we offer um check it out in the main description of the video and i will see you guys next time and we will be talking soon about dealing with triggers and dealing with these emotional flashbacks all right i'll see you guys next time take care thumbs up subscribe bye bye